Okay, flange, spacer, brand new bearing, retainer ring. Done. Cool. I gotta put these on. See you in the next one. Okay, disc brake conversion for any 70s Corolla that has an 8 bolt, 10 bolt, uh, that had drum brakes in the rear. Okay, uh, I basically followed uh, Builds by Bailey's um, rear disc brake conversion on his T72. Uh, check his channel out, it's pretty cool. Uh, he forwarded me over to the guy that made the brackets, and Cutworm Specialties made this uh, dual caliper um, bracket that I was going to use, but um, I decided not to, and um, I didn't want to just chop up the uh, the uh, bracket, so I made my own, and you'll see in the videos that I made a cardboard of just one side and cut one side so I know exactly where to um, mount the caliper. So we use S13 um, four lug, uh, I think they're the fronts, yeah, they're the fronts, uh, rotors and you use Mazda Protégé uh, calipers. The problem with it um, is you lose your e-brake, the cable e-brake, so there's a few things that you need to do in order to get this to fit. Number one is you have to get your axle flange machined down so it could fit on the inside of the uh, road here so it's a bolt-on over the, over the uh, flange now. It could still be hub centric depending on the rings that you get. So everything assembly goes as follows. You're gonna take apart your axle. Uh, might as well change the uh, oil seal. And I changed the bearings, the retainer and uh, the lug nuts as you can see. You can make yourself a bearing retainer plate or you can just take your drum and cut it out. That's exactly what I did and it looks like this here. You just need this piece here, and then there's a metal gasket that goes across the other way. The brake caliper bracket that I made. And you will see assembly in the coming video. So that's the 92 Mazda Protégé front caliper. That is the S13 rotor. The T27 or T3135 axle with new bearing um, with the flange uh, milled down so it can fit inside the rotor. And you will see the videos. Oh, here's the front uh, uh, brake lines too. I, I will probably swap these out for stainless steel braided line. And uh, yeah, stay close.